Oh, don't tell me Premiere Pro is crashing again. I don't know how annoying editing can be and especially using Premiere Pro because sometimes it just crashes and you haven't saved your project and all that sort of stuff. Although we can't avoid that problem of Premiere Pro crashing, I can show you some tips that I use when I edit my videos that just help speed up my process. First tip is called the K, Q and W method. So before I show you this method, you have to go into edit and you have to change your sh keyboard shortcuts real quick. So you want to go to add edit and make sure that the shortcut for add edit is K. Then you want to go to ripple and ripple trim next edit to playhead that's set to W and then ripple trim previous edit to playhead is Q. Once you've done that, press OK. And then what this does is, for example, I've got this footage here and I want to delete everything to the right of it to this next cut. Usually what you would do is you press C, click here, press V, click on this part, and then you'd press option delete, and that would ripple delete it. A way faster way to do this is, say if I want to delete everything to the next cut, so here to the right of the playhead, I press W, and if I want to delete everything to the left until the next cut, I press Q. So for example, all I would have to do to delete all this part here is just press W. And then we can go along here. Say I want to delete everything to the left of it, I just press Q. So for example, if the audio goes down here, I'll press K and then I'll go to where the audio picks up and I'll just press Q. The next tip here is a very quick one and what it is is you, you just press L on your keyboard and what L does is that plays your footage for you. But say you want to speed up your footage twice to twice the speed because you don't want to watch it back for, at normal speed for some reason. I don't know, maybe you're trying to pump out an edit. You press L twice that's just gonna double the playback speed. So if you just wanted to skim through your timeline, that's a good way to do that. You know when you got your audio and it's someone speaking, sometimes when there's a lot of cuts, there's this popping sound and that's because there's no audio transition from one clip to the next. It's just a straight cut and you tend to get that popping noise. So a way you can get rid of that is by, once you've edited all your footage and you've got all your audio on this track here, you wanna make sure you lock every other layer apart from the layer that you wanna edit and you press and hold control and select all of your audio. You wanna zoom into one of these cuts here. You wanna right click and click on apply default transitions. Now see how that's added a little transition to every single one of these audios, audio parts here. So now when your audio plays through, it's just gonna be nice and smooth and you're not gonna get any of those popping noises. Oh, I run out of water, I'm so thirsty. But we gotta push through, we're gonna do it. We're gonna finish this tutorial. Okay, the next tip is gonna be for color grading and I suck at color grading. Whenever I, whenever I edit my videos, all I do is I just put a LUT over it and I'm like, yep, yeah, done. But what I used to do was I'd put the LUT on one of the clips and then I'd have to press Command C and then paste it onto all the other clips. And that just took me way too long, sorry. This next tip here is gonna just be a lot cleaner and a lot easier to manage your color grade. So just click on new item, go adjustment layer, click okay, and then drag this adjustment layer on top of all your footage that you wanna color grade. And then pressing V will just drag this all the way out to cover all of your footage. And then whatever LUT or whatever Lumetric color adjustments that you put on this layer here is gonna affect all of your footage. For example, if I put contrast up on this clip, I put the exposure up a bit, highlights down, whatever, whatever color grade you wanna do. So now that color grade has been applied to every single one of these clips here. And then what you can do after that, you can just rewatch your footage and say, for example, if one of these clips is too bright, you can just click on the individual clip itself and then just put the brightness down or whatever you have to do to adjust for that clip. The next tip is an audio tip and this is gonna help boost your audio and just make it sound a bit, a little bit more clear. So before you do this, make sure you know which audio track your audio is on. So for example, all, all of my audio for this video is on audio one. So if I go to the audio tab here and I click on audio track mixer, there's this little arrow here, this little cheeky little arrow that keeps hiding. So we're gonna bring him out by clicking on it. And this track here is A1, which means it's gonna affect this one here. We'll click on this drop down arrow here. There we go. We've got amplitude and compression, multiband compressor. 
double click on that, click up here, click on a random one and then click on broadcast. You have to click on a random one first, otherwise it doesn't work. I don't know why, it's just a glitch. Then go to your margin here, press negative three, just so the audio doesn't peak and then press close. And now your audio is just gonna be a bit more boosted and it's gonna be easier to hear it. Oh, don't tell me Premiere Pro is crashing again. Okay, I think Premiere Pro's just crashed on me. All right, well, Premiere Pro's crashed, so why don't we just let it do its thing? And yeah, let's have a chat. How you been? How you going through quarantine? Um, what was the most recent thing you created? How about we do that? Comment down what the most recent thing was that you created. For me, the most recent thing that I created was I used a TikTok. I didn't use a TikTok. I used my screen in a TikTok and I, I sort of did like that reflection trick where you get a pattern on your screen and you take a portrait. So that's what I did. Let me know what you did. Let's check back in with Premiere Pro, old mate. No, it's uh, still, still glitching. I think we're, gonna, we're just gonna have to end this task. So the next tip here we have is what export settings I use and this is what I use for all of my YouTube videos. So you want to go to the start of your clip. So when you when you finished exporting, say you've got your when you finished editing, you've got your whole timeline here. You press I at the start of it and then you want to drag this to the very end or just keep clicking the downwards arrow until it hits the end. Press O and then press Control M or Command M and then it's going to pop up here. Call it whatever you want. Click save to wherever you want it to save to. Scroll down, click render at maximum depth. Scroll down, make sure this is on two pass and you're gonna have the target bit rate at 30 and then the maximum at 60. Uh, yes, I know this makes it a huge file size but it's worth it for quality. Quality, we're all about quality here. Uh, and then you go use maximum render quality. And instead of clicking export, this is an important part, click on Q and that's going to open up your Adobe Media Encoder, which is a software that is specifically designed for exporting your footage and it's going to ex export faster and it's more reliable. It's less likely to crash whilst you're exporting, which is one of the most annoying things that's happened to me. Like you, you're spending, you're waiting there for like an hour. I remember on my old Mac, on my old laptop, I would wait like two hours sometimes for this video to export. It'd be at like 90% and then it'd just go export failed. And you're like, what? Why is this happening? So we'll use this here. And I don't know, for some reason it's saying warning here. I think that's because it just, I think that's because Premiere Pro just crashed, but it won't say warning here. All you have to do is just click play and then that's just gonna start exporting your footage. Yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like, help me out by hitting subscribe, and make sure you comment what the most recent thing was that you created, whether it was photography or video, because I'd love to see what you're all up to during these boring isolation days. But yeah, that's all from me. As always, don't think, just do. Repetition shop and blaze Like Nini Mishi, my serving up every single plate The hottest in the season, even summer looks away Cause I got something to prove I'm here cause I pay my dues So please tell me something new I'm in the 